What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Welcome back to our channel. Someone is being so needy and <laughs> wants to come up. And you guys haven't met Maui yet, so say hi, everyone. <laughs> we are so excited to be back because tonight we are doing our very first baking, baking video. video. <laughs> We're gonna be making peach cobbler and not just any peach cobbler. Vegan. Vegan peach cobbler. <laughs> Back home, Eldon used to make a bomb ass peach cobbler. Actually, no, you made it out here in California, but it's been a long time. And the last time he made it for me, he wasn't even vegan. So it had like probably eggs or milk. No, milk and butter. Oh, milk and butter. So technically not vegan, but you can get plant-based butter and oat milk, which is what we have almond right milk. here. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> almond milk. You can do oat milk or almond milk or even soy milk. Soy milk. What else do they have? Cashew, I Cashew think. Cashew milk, that sounds kind of like questionable to me, but they probably have so many different types of uh, plant-based milks. So um, use any of your choice. We actually have all of our ingredients already pre-measured out, which I will add all in the description below. Okay, so we have our mixing bowl here and we don't have an electric one because we don't bake too often anymore. I actually used to bake a lot more back home in Hawaii, but I don't know, we just don't really bake out here that much. We do a lot of cooking, so I don't really need an electric mixer. However, if you guys like these baking videos and wanna see us bake more like vegan stuff, obviously because he's vegan, um, we're down. And if we get to that point where we're baking all the time, we just might need an electric one. But for now, this does the job. Yeah. Okay, so I just preheated the oven to 375 and we're gonna start mixing. I think she smells Ooh, this the sugar. Is, <laughs> this is soft, it feels. Did you leave it out for a little bit? A little bit. Okay. Disclaimer, we can bake, but we are following a recipe. With cooking, you can kind of just get ingredients and collectively throw it all together and then just taste test along the way and figure it out. But with baking, you have to have exact measurements. You do not want to get that wrong. So we have a little recipe off to the side and Eldon's gonna read it out to me and I'm just gonna like throw it all together. We have one cup of flour, dump that rot in. There is one thing that we did change in the recipe though. We're not gonna use as much sugar because yeah. it says one cup of sugar, but we're gonna do three quarters. We like things a little less sweet. This is our first time making a vegan version. So you guys will be finding out our reaction to this recipe at the end of the video. But for now, um, we're gonna kind of like play the sugar by ear. And then next time, if we make it again, we'll know whether we Add needed like a little more off. or we could even take more off. So. Put it in? Yeah. Usually baking, you mix all the dry ingredients first and then the wet ingredients. Baking powder, which is gonna be one, one tablespoon. We have one tablespoon already measured out. And a pinch of salt. Okay, we have our little pink salt here. I don't know if it picks up as like pink on camera, but she's Himalayan salt. That's good. Maybe a little more. Okay. Her. It's easier to mix the dry ingredients together before you throw the wet ones in. Okay. Um, and then after you do that, you can add the one cup of almond milk. Little ASMR. <laughs> Did you even hear that? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Is this supposed to be like pancake mix? Like a little bit lumpy? Um, or like really smooth? You know how like pancakes have like a clumpy just consistency? Says, uh, yeah, it just says stir until moistened. Moist. Moistened? Moistened. Okay, here's an ASMR moment. Here, you want ASMR? <laughs> While the oven is preheating, I'm gonna add half a cup of butter to the pan and then pop that in there to melt it. Is she jumping up again? Okay, for the peaches, we're gonna add half a tablespoon of lemon juice, which is optional. This is probably just gonna give it like a little tang. <laughs> and then sprinkle some ground cinnamon. 
Okay. With a light okay. sprinkle. We should probably toss this up once it's in the pan, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is what our peaches look like. Just really juicy and tangy and a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, I'm gonna check on the butter. <sighs> I made a mess while taking a thumbnail uh, photo. So let's just uh, ignore that over here. Okay, so our butter is melted and it says to literally just pour the batter over the butter and do not stir. And the batter ended up being like silky smooth and there's no chunks or lumps in it. For the peaches, you can use fresh peaches if you want, but I felt like... Not doing the work? Not that, I just feel like they might be so crunchy. Hard. Yeah, so we've made it with like just canned peaches. It's like the cheat way. Okay, so I'm just giving it a good even toss in the bowl, that way there's like cinnamon dispersed everywhere. So this is what it looks like. And I think this recipe calls for double the amount of peaches, right? But we did half. Yeah. Okay, so we did half the amount of peaches because I like more crust or cake, if you will, to the peach. I just don't like a lot of fruit in my like dessert. Like even pie, I'm a big crust person, so I like eating the crust and I don't eat the filling. You're not supposed to stir, but I'm just kind of like moving them around so they're even and that's pretty much it all right so this is ready to pop in the oven we're going to put it in for 40 minutes at 375. per so we'll be back in 40 minutes oh how he wants yum dang that looks so bomb wow <laughs> if you guys could see maui's face like <laughs> um <laughs> Should we hit it with the flash one time? I mean, I don't know how good that looks on camera, but it looks amazing in person. So what we did was once our timer went off, we pulled it out, put some brown sugar, sprinkled it all over the entire thing, popped it back in, put it on broil for like one minute, one and a half. You have to keep an eye on it because it'll burn quick. That just gave it like a really golden caramelized like... Crunch. Crunch. Mmm. Oh, I should take a picture so I can send it to the GC. Do you want an end piece or? That's fine. You give me that. You have the end. Oh, so the middle? Yeah. He knows my favorite are corners and end pieces. But usually Elden would like to eat this, or I guess everybody would eat this with ice cream. Vegan ice cream in his case. But I don't like ice cream, so I'm I'm happy just like this. Luckily, I've got the forks right next to me. Okay. Mm, yum. Cheers. Mmm. I wish I had ice cream because it's my favorite to have it with ice cream, but. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm gonna say this right now, but I think the brown sugar was not a good move. Too what? It's a little bit like, it's just too crunchy. Cause it's supposed to be more like bready, right? Mm -hmm. The top. It made well, it. like it should have like a little, maybe a little crust, crust vibe, mm -hmm. but not, not crunchy. So trial and error, don't do the brown sugar on top. You can really taste the butter in it. And it tastes like real butter. It's so good. I don't even remember my old recipe. I know. I don't remember yeah, how you made it, it. Yeah. but it felt like it was more like cake with like a little bit of peach in it and then had the crust on top. We can just make more of the batter, I feel. Yeah, so I think if we're gonna make this again, I would definitely double up on the batter part. Mm. It might have to be baked longer, so we're gonna have to like trial and error that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. If we make it again more like thicker, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Or if you guys make it mm -hmm. and have your recipe, mm -hmm. leave a suggestion below in the comments. Mm -hmm. But even as is, 
I really liked it. It was so good. Yeah, it's really, really good. If you guys have like a recipe that you guys want to share with us that we should try, I mean, not to like necessarily film, but just to try on our own, let us know because we would love to make it for our friends too and see what they think. But I think this turned out really, really good. Me personally, again, I just like a little bit more of a cake vibe. But if y'all love peach cobbler and you're trying to go vegan or you are vegan, try this recipe. It was really, really good. I'll be sure to link all the ingredients below so that you guys have like easy access to finding it. Please let us know if you guys make this recipe and what you guys think of it. And let us know what you guys want us to bake next. I mean, we kind of have a list going of like what you guys want us to cook. Like we've been reading all the comments. So we will just keep adding to the list. And we also have other really good videos that we want to film really, really soon. So stay tuned for those. Okay, I just had to push everything out of the way because I was having like a little OCD moment. But of course, if you guys are not subscribed yet, don't forget to do that before you leave and turn on the bell notification. That way you are notified when our next video goes live. live. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys so, so much. And we'll see you Oh, me in the next one. Bye. Bye. Forgot to tell you guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Always fit that one. Okay, thank you so much. Bye.